What is going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping by the garage. I'm Brandon and this is Extreme Daily Drivers and today it's gonna be all about the Jeep Commander. If you guys are following me on Instagram, if you guys have been following this channel, you know that I recently got it wrapped. It's sick, it's done, I'm ready to show you guys today. Before we do that, let's roll it back a little bit. Um, been wanting to wrap the Jeep Commander for probably about a year now. Didn't know what color to do. Didn't even know if it was gonna work. There's some kind of awkward pieces to the Jeep that we're gonna go over in today's video. Um, but my boy Maniac, you remember Maniac? He's the one that's got the Cyan XB that looks like uh, the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters. I did a video on it. I'll put a link down in the description. He also helped out with the graphics on my XB. If you don't remember what that looked like, I'll put a picture up right here. And he also did the windshield banner on not only the XB, but also on the Miata. So this guy, He's, we've been working together a lot. He opened his own shop, which is incredible. Alpha Omega Graphics. If you guys are sent in anywhere near central Orlando, go check him out. Um, I'll put his information down below. Great new spot. Um, anyway, so he got his own shop. I hit him up. I was like, dude, we got to wrap the Jeep Commander. So uh, he was hyped. He was hyped. And he was like, let's do it, man. What color you want to do? And so I wound up getting a bunch of colors that I actually got from Amazon, just like little samples, you know? And I, I I showed all of them to him and immediately he's like, this is the one we're doing. This is the one right here. Which is the same way I felt when I got all the colors in front of me, cause I didn't know what kind of shade to do or whatever, but when I ordered the colors and I got the samples in front of me, I was like, dude, this is the color. And the color is, it is by Avery Dennison in his rugged combat green. <laughs> Check it out, man. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Is this absolutely sick or what, man? Now, it's Rugged Combat Green because it actually is textured. Can you see that in there? Yeah, it's textured. It almost looks like spray-on uh, Rhino Liner, um, except it has you know a little bit of a gloss to it, a shine. Um, it is, in fact, a matte wrap. Um, you can see it better here on the hood. So it's a matte color. But since it's textured like this, um, the, the, when the light hits it, it has a little bit of a shine to it or a sheen, whatever you want to call it. It's absolutely awesome, man. It's, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. Same with Maniac. He's never worked with this. He's never seen it before. So it's really unique. Um, the really cool thing about this wrap is typically on, on regular vinyl, um, it, it's, it's not all that durable when it comes to abrasions, like harsh abrasions. This, however, is if you were to take a key and try to like key this, it actually wouldn't tear. It would leave a mark, but it wouldn't tear. If you try to do that on regular vinyl, obviously you'd rip right through the vinyl and you'd probably go into the paint. On this, it would actually protect it. So this is actually supposed to be perfect for overland vehicles, stuff like this, where it might get some uh, pinstriping from uh, branches. The scratches should really kind of not show up. And there's actually even a little bit of like self-healing that should happen. Um, so we're going to be testing that out in the near future. So let me give you a shot of it over here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So much thought actually went into this. Um, I know you might be thinking to yourself, what's the thought? It's just green and you made a black roof. What's the big deal? I'll, it, it's, it's, it's actually a lot more than just that, man. There's so much little details. Like I was saying earlier with the Jeep, there's some unique challenges such as these fenders here that we had to figure out. See this area right here, you have essentially like a plastic rivet. Then you have this, this dipped area here. The plastic rivet fits in over everything. So you'd have to, to wrap this correctly, you'd have to remove the, riv the rivet, somehow wrap the rivet or paint it, and then reinstall it. All this area here would be really hard to wrap because of the tight contours. So what we did here is we actually, I spray painted each individual one of these prior to getting it wrapped. And then Maniac did an amazing two-tone wrap job on the fenders. Turned out awesome. I wanted to keep the black sides because if you guys have noticed recent modern cars, you know, a lot of them have these black sides on the fenders. And what that's supposed to do is visually make the wheel well bigger. And uh, I think it really works here. I just love the way it turned out. Front bumpers are like a really unique piece too. Initially, I told Maniac, I was like, hey man, let's just go ahead and make it all black. That's how it was before. And black bumpers actually make your vehicle look higher um, visually. So I said, let's go ahead and black it out. And he's like, eh, we could do that. <laughs> but what if, what if we go ahead and just kind of 
I follow the contours of the bumper and bring that down and make it green. And I was like, oh man, that'll be sick. Yeah, let's do that. And um, then we got into the argument of whether or not this should be actually green here. And I said, no, don't do that because it'll make the profile seem longer and make the vehicle look longer. And I don't want it to look longer. I want it to look shorter because if it looks shorter, it'll look taller. So that's why we wound up leaving that black and uh, I think it turned out really good. I think it would look good green as well. Of course, afterwards when he wrapped it and I looked at it, I was like, oh yeah, I could see how that could be, uh, that could be green too. So this took about five days to wrap. And uh, the way it worked is I, I brought the Jeep over there basically in pieces. I had so much, if you guys remember, I had so much Plasti Dip everywhere. I removed all that Plasti Dip. What a mess that was. Um, and then as I removed the pieces, uh, I just didn't reinstall them. I brought the vehicle over there like in pieces literally and um, You know when you wrap a vehicle it's a lot like painting it You got to remove basically everything needs to come off and then each piece gets each piece gets wrapped individually And then everything gets reinstalled So I, I drove over there with the car mostly in pieces and then when I got there I removed basically everything that I could um, I Removed everything from you know headlights obviously come out mirrors came off and then I trim painted those so they look brand new now um, door handles had to come off and tail lights. I mean basically everything back here um, Rear wiper rear wiper has to come off. This piece had to come off Everything had to come off. This piece turned out awesome. I removed this And trim painted it so happy the way that turned out man it looks brand new uh, All the all the plastics here had to come off roof rack had to come off. I mean you name it everything had to come off this thing So like I said you know each day i would go over there after work he'd have half the vehicle done or a part of the vehicle done and i'd start reinstalling stuff and then along the way we started to come up on some things like you know hey what about this and hey what about that one of those things was he surprised me one day he actually wrapped the uh window vent that you know not even something i would have considered but i came i came to see the car one day and sure enough these things were all wrapped i took a little piece of like uh that trim that goes on like edge trim whatever you want to call it and put it on there gave it a sick clean look i love the way it looks um i painted these on both sides so the commander really pops now let me know what you think about that down in the comments now uh, one of the things that we had major discussions over <laughs> believe it or not were door handles so um i was really worried about how in the world we were going to wrap these but um he came up with a great solution there is a two-piece cover that goes over these door handles are like $20 on Amazon and you know we wrapped one piece you see here green and then it comes in a plastic which you see here so this is kind of untreated but there is a treatment on it so it turned out awesome we we we, we flip-flopped on how it should actually be done like should we do it all green should we do black and green should we do black and make that green so we went back and forth on the decisions and uh, really happy the way that turned out I think it looks it looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, oh, dude, what about this? What about this? A bug guard, right? So I had this idea, and I'd never seen it done before, and the idea was to install a bug guard and wrap it the color of the hood in hopes that it would add height to the front of the vehicle, making it look more menacing, <laughs> larger, you know what I mean? And so if you look at the profile of this, it does, in fact, add, I don't know, an inch and a half to the profile of the vehicle so when you look at it head on you can see that it's just a little bit taller and uh i also thought it would be a little bit helpful you know to have that on there to protect the hood from any kind of chips and obviously the windshield as well one of the things we had tons of discussion over was actually the windshield banner i can't get all that close to it but you guys see it up there extreme deli drivers and uh you can do so much with windshield banners change the font around colors make it fade, all sorts of things. And I was considering all of this stuff, believe me. And um, he actually has, I'm gonna show you back here. He actually has an emblem of his own kind right here. And I was like, dude, you know what? I like the font. It looks kind of uh, futuristic. That's kind of what I wanted it to look like. And I wanted the colors to match the wheels if possible. So this is a gray and black combo. That's the name of his company. and. Uh, Happy to have it on the back windshield. And you know what, the colors, they're not that far off. This is a really hard color to match on these wheels. I really don't even know what kind of color that it is, but um, it's a tough color to get to match up. But 
I think we did a pretty good job, man. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. So before we started this project, I had in mind kind of something that I wanted it to look tactical and I wanted it to look actually like an armored vehicle. I started Googling armored cars and I was like, how can I make the Jeep look like an armored car? That's, that's kind of where my mind was. And uh, I think we nailed it, man. I think we nailed it. Another kind of like thought I was having is back in the day, I used to play this game called uh, Metal Gear Solid. It was a huge game for PlayStation 1 back in the day, and then they made a whole bunch of others. But um, I love that game, and the main, the main character in that game, his name is uh, Snake Plissken, which is also the character's name from Escape from New York. But um, anyway, I was like, man, would, would this be something? I want, to, I want to make something that Snake would drive around. <laughs> so that's where, that's where we came up with kind of this design and the color. That was the idea I had in my head when I was doing this. And here's a little throwback or a little wink to the actual video game. If you played the video game, you've seen that symbol before. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a good spot to put it. Uh, Maniac had a great idea. He wanted to put something on there. Um, and I hadn't even thought of that. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna change it up and put something there that, that kind of gives a little wink to uh, Metal Gear Solid. So let me know what you guys think, man. Is this awesome or what? If you're thinking about wrapping your vehicle, it is very similar to having your vehicle painted. So expect to spend a lot of money and labor with disassembly and reassembly. Also, wrap is expensive. Expect to spend money on wrap. And also too, I will tell you right now, don't try to do this yourself. It will not work, <laughs> trust me. There's a lot of prep that goes into prepping the surface. And um, you have to be good at this. Like it, I couldn't even imagine trying to do this myself. I would never ever even attempt it. And you know me, I, I basically attempt everything that I can. I would paint a car way before I would try wrapping it, way before. So um, make sure if you're thinking about doing this that you pay somebody. Another thing too, another thing too, and you, you, you might not consider this, is that the surface, the, like the painted surface, has to be in really good shape. The wrap hides nothing. It highlights stuff. So that's one thing I knew about this vehicle is that the paint is in really good shape despite the fact that it's 18 years old. The paint was in excellent shape. It didn't have any dents or dings really. There's like one ding on the whole vehicle and it's, you know, I have to point out to you for you to really see it. But keep in mind, the wrap, even this stuff, it doesn't hide anything. It actually magnifies it. So your vehicle needs to be in good shape if you want to have it wrapped and have it look good. So anyway, guys, that's today's video. I got a video already staged for next week, so you can look forward to that. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this. Let me know what you think of the color. What color would you have wrapped it? Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. And uh, let me know if you guys are really digging this, this, uh, this Jeep Commander build, because believe it or not, man, I still got lots more to do to this thing. And um, I recently found somebody who's going to help me achieve some more goals that I, uh, that I have set for myself with this. Um, that are kind of outside my comfort zone, outside my abilities. So uh, excited about that. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this with everybody. And uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Later.